All right, guys, Uncle Bob here again. I don't know if you can see that, but this is the stock Super Cloudbuster. Yes, it has bearings, but I don't include bearings as a hop up because they're a necessity. Um, I'm going to get a speed reading on this, and then we're going to go to the gray Cloudbuster. So, wish me luck. Here we go. Oh. That says 11 miles an hour. Man, I wish you guys could, I hope you could read that or see that. Uh, so let's get the gray out, see what that one does. All right, guys, gray super cloud buster. Right now, that says three miles an hour only because I walked over from the car, which is right there, not too far, but it's still, still registered. Uh, let's see what this does. This is on tarmac, and I only have two body clips in it because I gotta get done with this speed test. And I'm gonna change the tires and see if we get a difference using well the difference between the stock and the J Concepts. So let's give this thing a rip and see what it does. It's a bit sketchy on a high traction surface with all that weight on top. I think that's going to be good enough. So that says 14 miles an hour. So that's three miles an hour better than stock silver cans. And this is running the Super Sport TZ motors. That's Thomas Zebra. Um, so, yeah, from 27 to 23 turns, you get three miles an hour. It is the same battery, and it was freshly charged. So, let's switch over to the other tires and see what happens. Okay, set the peak speed again. At two miles an hour because I moved the truck from the back of the car down here. So you can see J Concepts Gold Year tires with the tribute wheels. Can't really see. There you go. Um, again, only running two body clips because I got all the things I want to do and I need to get the battery out fast. Um, gotta take it easy with these. I never ran these tires, so let's see what happens. Ooh. It's got one hell of a wobble at about half throttle. Well, apparently the tires aren't glued straight, but that's all right. You know what? I want to switch positions. I'd much rather have this thing uh, flip over in the dirt from the grass than uh, than in the concrete. So let's see what this does.
Yeah. I'm going to need an expert to do the next set of tires if I get them. Holy shit. That's enough of that. Let's just bring it in. Surprisingly, still only 14 miles an hour. But you can actually see the kingpin screws. So it's definitely a little wider. But man, that wobble, I don't know. How's that going to work on the race time? <laughs> we shall see. All right. Be back again. All right, for you guys who uh, run serrated wheel nuts on your RC cars and you have the Tamiya tool kit and sometimes you cannot loosen these damn nuts up for nothing. Okay. What? We're coming back home and I was just talking about how my dad and I used to race tractor trucks out here. We came around Sorry about that, got interrupted. Um, you guys who have... Uh, the Tamiya tool set, the blue ones, I don't know about the red ones, but you could put the handles in like that to give yourself a little extra torque and they loosen right up. So again, if you have a Tamiya tool kit and you need the extra torque to get serrated nuts off, that's a good way to do it because the little four-way that it give you Ain't gonna cut it. I had to use pliers with the four-way before to get the serrated nuts off or loosen so I can get the wheels off. Just a little tip. Something I found out uh, like last year or so. I don't know if I ever mentioned it, but I am now. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Talk to you later. Have a good day, good week, good month, good year, good night. It's five o'clock somewhere. Just have a drink. All right. Guys, thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next one. Bye for now.